Hi, welcome to the Craig and Dave channel with me, David Morgan. Now, AI isn't just about creating quirky fan art or generating novelty content. Whilst that might be the most visible use of AI today, its true potential lies far deeper, particularly in making the world more accessible for everyone. Imagine a world where a blind person can see their surroundings thanks to a pair of AI-powered smart glasses. Kevin Chow, a blind accessibility advocate, recently showed us how this might work. He sat on a rooftop in Oakland, California, put on Meta's Ray-Ban smart glasses and asked the AI, describe what you see. Within seconds, the AI described the patio in front of him, noting the skyline and the furniture. The description wasn't flawless, but it demonstrated something remarkable. AI can bridge the gap between technology and accessibility. Hey Meta, describe what you see in front of you. A bald dude. Oh my God, no one's ever been this bald. It's like negative hair. In recent years, tech giants like Apple, Google, and OpenAI have made great strides in integrating AI into the accessibility features. Apple's live speech allows someone to type what they want to say, and the device speaks it aloud. Google's Lookout can identify objects and provide detailed descriptions of photos, even using audio and haptic feedback to help visually impaired users take well-framed photos. Now that's pretty cool. Then there's the partnership between OpenAI and Be My Eyes, which adds a whole new layer of independence. Imagine standing at a street corner trying to hail a cab. Be My AI can tell you not only where the cab is, but whether the taxi light is on and where the driver's pulling over. Now, the ability to access that kind of detail in real time with nothing more than a smartphone is absolutely game-changing. AI isn't just filling gaps, it's creating new possibilities for personalization. Take Apple's personal voice feature, for instance. It allows users who are at risk of losing their voice to create a digital voice that sounds like them. Now, one user shared their experience of struggling to find a digitized voice that reflected their identity. Now, personal voice allowed them to create a custom voice that felt authentic. Now, in the past, this kind of personalization was either impossible or very, very expensive. Now, it's available at your fingertips. Speech recognition is another area seeing major benefits from AI. For people with disabilities, like those with non-standard speech, being, being understood by voice assistants has often been a challenge. Apple, Siri, and Google's Gemini have been trained to better decipher a range of speech patterns. Now, this is more than just convenient. For many, it's a gateway to a more independent life. Google's Project Relate helps people with non-standard speech by transcribing their words and then restating them clearly in real time. Now, this technology isn't just about giving people with disabilities better access to the world around them. It's about giving them more autonomy and privacy. A blind person can now use an AI-powered app to read sensitive documents like tax forms without needing to rely on someone else for help. It's a shift towards greater independence. Nan, 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 no, I don't need to read your tax forms to you. Apple's iPhone will do it for you. What do you mean you've got an Android phone? What do you mean it's 12 years out of date? Perhaps what's most powerful about these advancements is that accessibility tech ends up benefiting everyone. Think about how many of us use closed captions, not because we're hard of hearing, but because the dialogue in films is difficult to hear. No, Brian, no, the captions on your anime don't count. I have to apologize for that joke. I like anime myself. And of course there's dark mode, originally designed to help those with visual impairments, now a common feature on most devices that I wouldn't be without. By focusing on accessibility, companies are creating features that work better for all users. But there are challenges ahead. AI, like any technology, is only as good as the data it's trained on. If that data is biased or incomplete, the AI's ability to serve people with disabilities will be limited. We've already seen how AI can generate inaccurate or even harmful results. Accessibility advocates are pushing to ensure that the development of AI doesn't leave people with disabilities behind, or worse, introduce new barriers. Despite all the power AI offers, there are times when people with disabilities still need the support of another person. The option to reach out to a volunteer through apps like Be My Eyes remains vital. AI can assist, but it won't replace the value of human connection. Now, AI's true promise lies in its ability to create a world where everyone, regardless of their abilities, can participate fully. It's not just a tool for productivity, it's a key to unlocking the independence and inclusion for millions of people. And the more we invest in making AI accessible, the better our world will be for everyone. To summarize, AI technology is transforming accessibility by enabling tools like smart glasses and voice assistants to assist individuals with disabilities in real time, enhancing their independence and interaction with the world. Personalized AI features, such as Apple's Personalized Voice and Project Relate, help users with non-standard speech or voice loss maintain autonomy and communicate more easily. 
Accessibility advancements in AI benefit everyone, as features like closed captions and dark mode, originally designed for disabled users, have become mainstream. Despite AI's potential, challenges remain in ensuring unbiased data and maintaining the human element, ensuring that people with disabilities are not left behind in future developments. Well, that's it from me today. If you're as excited about the future of AI as I am, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave a like because my AI personal assistant insists that I need the validation.